Hi, I'm Harry Rosenblum, one of the owners of The Brooklyn Kitchen, and today we're going to talk about ricers for potatoes, specifically some vintage ricers that we have in our collection of vintage kitchen tools, and then we're going to take a look at a modern ricer as well. Why would you want a ricer, you might ask? Well, a ricer is a really great tool if you want to have really fluffy mashed potatoes, or if you want to make something like gnocchi, where you want the potatoes to be nice and airy when you start mixing in other ingredients uh, to work with your potatoes. So what a ricer does is basically it passes the potatoes through a bunch of small holes. Here's an example of a couple of different uh, ricers from oldest to newest. This one being the oldest, uh, this comes out of our collection. This one was patented in 1881, manufactured in Brooklyn. So we're gonna give this guy a shot. I'm gonna put some potatoes in there. These have just been peeled, boiled in a little salted water. And then we're gonna go ahead and just close these together. And so what you're doing is the potatoes are becoming about like the width of a grain of rice. So now we're gonna move on to this guy. Uh, a little more recent, this is probably 1950s. Uh, still made of, made of metal, very similar style. This one just has a plunger. Now this style, I know you gotta be a little careful because it's gonna shoot out potatoes out the sides as you press. The difference I would say between the two, this one is a little bit less fine. I feel like the old one made it a little bit finer. So this is a little bit, the pieces are a little bit bigger. Um, also the, this one from the 50s was a little bit harder to use because I felt like the handles were further apart at the moment where I needed to apply the most pressure. This is a modern ricer uh, made by a company called RSVP. One of the things about this one is it comes with two different size plates. So you can choose to press smaller or press larger. We're gonna go with the smaller plate today to have a better comparison to our antique ricers. This one I feel is almost exactly the same as the 1950s. I still think that the oldest of the three uh, is still my favorite. I think it makes the finest and was the easiest to use. So that's a tour through some antique ricers and a modern ricer. They all function pretty much the same and they all make great mashed potatoes. Come by to check out some of our vintage cookware and some of our vintage cookbooks anytime you want. You can look through them for recipe ideas and for more videos, check out thebrooklynkitchen.com.